Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm excited about this one. Victory Monday, New England Patriots going into Miami. Tough place for them to play. Yeah, the Dolphins are down. But I'm most excited about the plan that New England had to take advantage of Antonio Brown. TB to AB. How many times did they do it? How'd they do it? A bunch of different ways. Love seeing New England construct a plan and a package to take advantage of a certain guy's skill set. Reminds me a little bit back of the day of Randy Moss. Now, di totally different circumstances. I get it. But I love how they integrate him right away. And so they've tried this on many different levels, but it's fun to see it. Week one, one week, what does it look like? Certain package, New England doing what they do formation-wise, and then being able to take advantage of AB's kind of skill set from the slot. And I mean, they're just so dynamic now from the slot with Edelman and him. There's so many different opportunities, packages, but how they did it right out the gate to take advantage of his quickness, skill set. And what Brady does really well from the pocket. This is going to be a fun video. I had fun watching it when it unfolded on Sunday. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, so I, try, I tried to catch every play that I thought he AB played a meaningful role here. Here's the first one, second play of the game. They do what they do, put the back up top, see if it's man or zone, bring him in. Got Antonio Brown in the slot here. Nice little easy zone completion over the middle of the field. Find a void. Put it on him. On the body. On the break. Boom. Can't help but catch that thing. So explosive. So dynamic. Just be able to see exactly. Again, I love seeing packages come together. And what I mean by that is New England's doing what New England does. They're going to send the back out. Bring him in all the time. See if it's man or zone. Brady's, Brady's comfortable with it. Many teams in the league use it. But New England does it right out the gate with Antonio Brown. Now it's zone. We're going to take advantage of his explosiveness. They void the zone with a pressure. A little cross dog right up the middle. We can see the linebackers just so we're all on the same page here. We can see these linebackers. Now they don't know that they're going to do this when they motion that back in. So the back starts out here. Motion's in. We know it's zone. Here comes that cross dog. Whatever you want to bring. They void this area. So there's going to be this huge opening right here. Antonio Brown just finds a spot, comes in there, doesn't even really throttle, just kind of settles his feet. Brady's able to put it on him. Really nice completion, easy second play of the game. Great scheme, taking advantage. I'm sure they didn't know that they were going to get a cross dog. But again, nice, easy void, able to th throttle down. Again, you can see his head. He's he's looking, running through his own area. That's not guys who played together for a long time. That's one week able to be on the same page, but he's dynamic, explosive. You can see the explosiveness just jump off every single stride. He's so dynamic. It's going to be fun to watch how they continue to evolve him into the offense. But that's just one play. He says, now get out. Take one play off. They come back to him. Again, you got to love the fact that they have a package for him. They're going to try to very intentionally get him the ball right out the gate. In the slot, there it is. Turn around, keep running through the zone. On the body, boom, two hands. Love it. Again, package coming together right out the gate. Towel yourself off. You're going right back in. Here we go. Next one. They come out. Again, they're going to get him, create his leverage, start him off in the slot, but how the corner is playing him. And this is really a New England thing, in my opinion, from being in 11 different organizations. Not every organization allows you to run routes like this. New England is very route-specific based on the actual coverage. So they're going to run routes at the corner versus run routes straight line like a chalkboard. So right here is a perfect example of him running a little speed out bottom of the screen. You see the leverage of the corner right out the gate. He's outside. He's a uh, two yards inside the numbers. That DB is on the zero down here at the bottom of the screen. So watch this out track. He doesn't run a straight line. He runs at the DB. So that immediately threatens his leverage. It's not a straight line. It's at the DB. We'll see it from a different replay. The DB has his bottom to the sideline. There's no way he can break on an out and he's able to throw easy completion. And again, just so don't think I forget about the quarterback fundamentals. Watch Tom Brady, top of his drop, feet wide, all his cleats in the ground, accurate throw right on him. Boom. But again, this is kind of the merging of what AB does and what the Patriots do and allow them to wide receivers to do. They run at the technique of the corner. So right here, beautiful right here. We see the feet. Again, look at the levers. The numbers are two yards wide. That's, he's almost two. He's two yards plus wide outside of him. And so when he runs this out route, normally, if you were to just run this out route, he that corner would have leverage on you. But because the technique that they teach in, in New England allows them to run at the technique of the DB. So he's going to threaten him vertically by running at him. And then by the time he runs out, because his he turns and bails with his bottom to the sideline, there's no way he can make a break on that out. So I love seeing these things come together. This is one week. Again, they got no chance. Bail technique. Beautiful. Love it. 
I love seeing them do exactly what they do, merged with AB's quickness. Look at the not being able to even slow down at the break, pump your arms, come right through it fast. Ball's on him. This is a little better ball. He might even catch that thing and stay in bounds for even more yardage. So again, two plays, two touches, all the first series, able to come out again here. I think they use him in a little ghost motion here. Ghost motion, just fake reverse. Again, now you've given him two touches. You're intentional. There's a package for him. Now you're going to come out. Everybody's watching him. Pay attention to AB. There he is. Oh, nope. We're just going to fake it. Run right through you. Get Sony Michelle going. First down inside the red zone. You got to love it. This is the merging of not just, oh, let's get him touches. Let's get him catches. He's part of our football team. He's going to learn to be runoff guys. You see, he's the outside wide receiver right here. He's just going to run what most teams call some variation of ghost motion. So they're going to fake this little run play just like we drew up here with the yellow. And then he's going to come around to even cause more just more issues on this back end defenders. You want these guys, their eyes being out here as you run up the seam right here. So nice job. Again, it's not just pass plays. It's being part of the offense, being able to fit in and be able to know exactly what your role is. There it is. Ghost motion. Again, you see how they start to integrate the package. That's what I love so much about New England. You know they're going to have a package to take advantage of this guy's skill set right out the gate. This is just one week. That's how my, That's why I think it's so fun. It's what are they going to do eventually with this guy. Now that he's down at the bottom of the screen again. We're just going to get a little hitch route. He's so explosive. Bump coverage. Bail. Easy money. You see this technique right here. Bump. Bump's not great versus a hitch down here at the bottom of the screen. But when you see him bail... And though through film study, you're going to know, are they a bail team or are they a bump grind you out? If he's going to bump you right there, most hitches are going to turn into fades or goes. But when he, as soon as this DB bails, so his bottom is to the sideline running out, anything outbreaking, like they threw that hitch or they threw that out earlier, you come out, get a little hitch, easy. It's technique, game plan, matching strategy, execution, and nobody is better than New England. And it's crazy to see them be on the same page right out the gate. And then this is just him being crazy explosive. Just catch, get up the field, protect yourself, get down second and short inside the red zone. Love it. But again, you got to love the fact that they're on the same page. Now granted, yeah, feed him, let him eat right here. Whoop. Yay. Fast. On the body, on the break. There it is. Get up the field. Protect yourself. Get down. I love it. He's so explosive. It's going to be so fun to see how McDaniels, Belichick, find creative ways to get him involved. And yeah, feed him. Let him eat. It's going to be fun. New England is, is, is going to be scary. They're already scary. Right here, we get a little reverse or around, whatever you want to call it. Fly sweep. I think the thing I like about this play, I'm not going to watch it too many times, but I just want to show the how intentional New England is. They come out right here. This little shift. So now we got shift. We're two by two. Defense didn't adjust. Now we're into a three by one with this jet sweep, and we got the edge. And he's just so fast, you don't even need to block the linebacker. They just leave 55 on his own. He runs right around him. First down. Easy. Again, taking advantage of his skill set, his explosiveness, his speed, getting him touches, getting him integrated into the offense. Let him know that we're going to take advantage of his skill set down the field with the rounds, with ghosts, with quick outs, with hitches. And you see all these things start to come together. And this is just one week. Again, that's why it's so cool to see the plan come together and work so efficiently. You wouldn't expect anything else from New England, but it's still fascinating to see show up. Even if it's, I don't care if it's against the Dolphins or not, he's going out there executing at a really high level. Here's the tight end, or here's the touchdown, excuse me. I'm going to get him in the slot. Now, talk. most people have seen this play, but again, I just want to talk just a little bit about scheme first before we even talk AB. I love the idea of throwing fades versus bump coverage to inside slot receivers. First of all, oftentimes, your best corners are not going to be in here. So that's first off the gate you get against better personnel, plus you get better spacing. So you have this huge space. If you were to throw a fade out here, You've got like five yards here. You've got almost like 12 yards, 10 yards, top of the numbers. Numbers are two yards wide. Then you got this huge space outside the numbers. So you get this better spacing. So right here, he's able to come up, run it out here. You get a little stop route out of the outside. It's one-on-one -on -one with more spacing. Again, great technique, great fundamentals, great packaging, great play calling. All these things come together empty. Brady sees exactly what he wants. You see him hit it with the alert, alert, and we're into it. Alert, alert. See what I want. Middle field close. Bump man. Good luck. AB on the inside. Just run. A little push off in the back too. Right on his face. Literally right on his face. It'll be fun to see from the replay. But this is just outstanding execution. Come up. Call two plays. Get middle field close. Bump. Have the absolute perfect play called. 
inside seam from a slot who's the best receiver in the league, one-on-one, -on -one, you have no chance. You have no chance. Tom Brady throwing this thing, puts it right on his face, and it's just a thing of beauty right here. And then on the outside, we can see the little stop route, the combination. So again, he holds a corner down right there with that little stop route. That corner's not going to make a play. That DB doesn't have his back. He's not looking. The only thing he's covering is the width of his shoulders. He turns and look. It's too late. Push off, face shot, money. Just unbelievable, great execution, such a high level, so much fun to see New England be able to integrate this guy into the plan so quickly and seamlessly. Yeah, he's dynamic, one of the best in the league, but as they start to package things together, together for Edelman, Gordon, Brown, and then see these things come together, they're going to be, they're already really good. Now they're going to be that much more fun to watch offensively. I think it's going to be really cool for the QB school community. I'm excited. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.